We're just going to do a quick overview, just a couple minutes, an overview of Confluency Solutions social marketing tool. It's built to make your life easier, help you make more use of social media, get your brand out there, get leads and expand your reach. So I'm logged in here to the business app. There's a bunch of different things I can do in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on social marketing. That's going to be what we're going to focus on here in the next minute or two. And it'll open an overview that will kind of show me what posts are scheduled, what posts have we done recently, um, and then if there's any posts that our customers have done um, that, that mention us. So that's kind of the overview. And we're going to go down here just in order on this left panel to my posts. And I can look at recent posts in here and get a little bit more detail. See, I can choose the filter, but where did I post it to? Facebook, Google Business Profile, uh, or LinkedIn. I can look and see what's been scheduled. Again, the detail. If I want kind of a more of a summary view, I can just look at the calendar and see, am I filling this up the way I want to? Do I have things scheduled over the next you know, week or so, something every day, however often you want to uh, to post? If you've done any posts and you've saved them to draft, I don't think we have any here. Uh, this is where you would see those. Templates for posts, if you want to kind of make something up um, that has some graphics that you can use over again, uh, that's where you would do that. Customer posts, these are folks who have responded to uh, one of your posts here, and you can see it all in one place and respond from one place. Like filter down here, or can, you know, somebody's waiting for me to respond. We've already responded to it, or it's something that we've dismissed. I'm going to skip over leads for now. That's sort of like a, um, oh, it's not a graduate level, but it's it's sort of downstream from what most of us need to be focusing on. I'm going to go ahead and click on content. So here we have a bunch of RSS feeds set up that are relevant to us, digital marketing, technology, financial services, and insurance, things that we might want to share as Confluency Solutions. Your agency would set up something different, and we have a list of these that are super easy to set up for homeowner safety, vehicle safety, uh, business insurance tips, things like that. So we've got a bunch of RSS fees, you don't have to really look around too much. I can just click on view. What does this article say? Do I want to use it? And it'll open it up in a separate tab. If I do want to use it, I'm just going to click share and it'll create the post for me, right? And over here, I can say, where do I want to post this? So I want to post it to the company LinkedIn page, to the Confluency Solutions Facebook page, to my own personal page, right? Those things. Uh, there's some AI built in, artificial intelligence. We can write an article to, or a, a post rather to accompany the article using AI by just clicking this button. Uh, we can post it immediately, which is what's down here, or I can schedule it by clicking this drop down here and pick a date for that. Um, I can also add another image if I don't like the one that goes with the article or if I'm doing a post that's sort of freestyle, um, I can go ahead and uh, add my own media. And as far as adding my own media, let's go back to my post for a moment. I'm going to say, actually, let me just create a post here. Uh, there's another area where artificial intelligence comes into play. Um, so let's say we want to write a post about, um, I don't know, uh, homeowner safety, let's say pool safety. And we're going to keep it short because it's going on Facebook and LinkedIn. So I'm going to click generate here, see what, see what it comes up with. Um, state of affairs with artificial intelligence, chat GPT. And there's a little reminder here, proofread it. Robots are robots. And I can pick an image to go with this, right? Uh, if I don't like these, I can generate more images to go with it. So there's the post. I really don't have to do much. I might want to edit it a little bit or at, minim at a minimum, just proofread it. And it's just that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of there and I'm going to click out of here and let's look at uh, insights. So you wonder how your posts are performing. Uh, let's look at post performance here. And it doesn't matter what social media platform you're posting to, what your agency is using. It all shows up here. So you don't have to be logging into a bunch of different places to see how things are performing. So you can see I'm looking at post performance. I can narrow it down to just Facebook, new posts, breakdown of reach, how many people are we getting to, 
that was a good one there. We got uh, one post that got to over a thousand people and individual post performance down here. How many folks did we reach? What was the engagement? And for posts where you have good reach, you want to look at that content and say, hmm, maybe we want to do more things like that to, to continue to get good reach. Uh, settings down here, this is where you would sort of do the account connection, uh, your Facebook, Twitter, if you're using it, Google Business, Instagram, whatever you're using. Uh, lead searches, that's related to Twitter. Most agencies don't use that. So we're going to click on the lead things. And then finally, interesting content. That's the RSS feeds. So we can choose from some that are already here, uh, or I can add them freestyle. And again, we have a list of these that are really relevant to, to most agencies. Uh, you can just get the URL, uh, what the post name is, and then what category you want to assign it to. That's pretty much it. So hope you'll try this out. It's super easy to use. It's inexpensive. It'll make your life a lot easier. It'll give you greater reach. And um, at the end of the day, result in more business for your insurance agency.